Hi, Bob here from Silver Fox Fitness, and welcome to Healthy Hamstrings. You know, if you're lying down, sitting, standing, walking, running, jumping, skipping, biking, swimming, maybe going up and down stairs, just standing still, you need healthy hamstrings. These exercises are going to help you with that. Let's get started. Well, to begin with, my hamstrings are on the back of my legs between my bum, my hips, and my knees. These are my hamstrings. There's one there, and there's another one there. And they're big muscles. And if I sit a lot like this, my hamstrings are squished together. They're contracting. They'll shorten. And then when I want to use them, when I stand up, they'll be very tight. And I'll have trouble walking, climbing steps, riding a bike, swimming, and all those things. So what I want to do here is stand with my feet shoulder width apart. I want to be standing nice and tall. You know, my hips are lined up with my shoulders and my knees and my feet. So just standing here like this is stretching my hamstrings, making them stronger. So if I want to pick up those shoes, I first of all make sure that whatever I'm picking up is close to my toes and right in the middle of my body. I don't want to reach out like that because when I hinge forward like this and my legs are still straight, I'm putting a lot of weight on those hamstrings. They're really stretching. Okay, and I'm looking down at those shoes thinking, well, I, my arms aren't long enough, I can't reach them. So what I'm gonna do is bend my legs at the knees until my hands touch whatever I'm picking up. And then I'm going to straighten my legs and then unhinge. So not only am I working my hamstrings, I'm working my upper body, my back, my arms, my bum, my hamstrings, quads, my knees, my calf muscles, the front of my shins here, and my feet. Holy cast just to get the shoes. But the hamstrings especially are really in there working really hard. So right now my hamstrings are stretched. Got to put the shoes back where they were. So I hinge at the hips. My legs are still straight. I can't reach the floor with the shoes yet. So I have to bend my legs at the knees until the shoes can be placed on the floor and then as I lift my body up I straighten my legs so I get to here hamstrings working all the time and then I unhinge hinge bend the legs reach pick up the weight push the legs straight again unhinge hamstrings right on the back of my legs. So the deadlift. When you do the deadlift, would you please do it 10 times slowly? Even if you're picking up a quarter or a dandelion or something, just focus, do it properly, and your hamstrings will love you, as well as everything else in that body too. The heel toe raise, or you can call it the heel drop. We're going to work the quads on the front and the hamstrings on the back to do this exercise. And we're going to use a step. So find a step and stand up. so that your heels are hanging off the back of the steps. So hold on, feet are shoulder width apart, heels are hanging off the back. Okay, I'm in neutral. So now when I lift up my heels as high as I can and I balance on the toes or the balls of the feet and the toes, okay, I'm working my quads and my hamstrings, front and back. Lots of other muscles too. 
and then I slowly come down and now there's neutral but I want my heels to go lower than the rest of my feet so they're hanging off the edge of the step I'm holding on to the railing here standing up nice and tall working my quads and my hamstrings and lots of other muscles too so here I go when I'm ready but very slowly lift my heels up nice and high working my hamstrings and my quads and lots of other muscles and then slowly lower the heels down so they're below the step so up and down like that to work the hamstrings on the back of my legs at the same time working the quads on the front and lots of other muscles too you just need a step and something to hold on to and stand nice and tall and let your heels hang over the edge you can do it so i call this the supine straight legs because supine means you lie on your back and i'm on my bed what better place than this to do the supine straight legs and i've got my little crocodile pillow under my neck to support my head and keep it in neutral and i'm lying on my back and i've got my my kimono cord here you can use anything skipping rope or whatever you have okay so what you want to do is put this thing underneath one of your feet and hold on to it and keeping both legs as straight as you can get them lift one up don't bend it get it as high up as you can is that as high as you can go well then hold it there notice the other leg didn't leave the bed notice this leg is as straight as i can get it if it starts to bend then take it down until you can get it straight so i think right now today I might be able to get it to there and I just breathe through my nose and out through my mouth and I try to be comfortable and relax and keep both legs as straight as possible working my hamstrings on the back of my legs between my hips and my knees and my quads on the front of my legs at the same time wow but really the hamstrings are doing all the work here so there we go and then when I'm tired or I can't do it anymore or I get bored I slowly bring it down and switch legs so both of them are straight right and then I pull on the cord here get it up nice and high well that's as high as it can go yesterday I could go there today I can only go here but my leg is straight one in the air and the one on the bed is straight too and i just hold it here what a great way to get strong legs especially the hamstrings when you can't do it anymore down you go you're done for the day Maybe I'll just... well folks that's it for the healthy hams if you're determined to keep those ha hamstrings really in good shape so you can walk and do all those fun things when you move about the planet. Um, do them regularly and um, try to do them exactly the way you were shown. Otherwise, if you're just going to sit around and not exercise, you get what you get. Have a good one.